Rob picked it because he thought it looked nasty. So sure, let's drop it to the floor. What do we have? The length of a curve. Which curve? Y is equal to one-fourth x squared minus one-half the natural log of x from where our domain is minus, or our domain is one to two. So, what do we do? We throw it in the length of a curve integral. What do we need? We need the derivative. So dy dx is the same as f prime of x when we take the derivative of that, take that and we'll wind it back. The 2 reduces with the 4 and comes half. Then the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. So now let's clean that up. I'm adding fractions. I see. My first term is devoid of an x in the denominator, so I multiply by x over x, and that's where the x squared comes from. Then they're both over 2x, so... I subtract their numerators. Now that I have that, I can put that in that nice form. I put everything in there nice. Now, now, watch me, watch me. Nay, nay, no. Watch me, I'm gonna make this thing go away. What? First move. I multiply out that top using a perfect square. It's x squared squared, x fourth. Then this one times that one, double it, 2x squared plus one, all right, and then my denominator gets squared two, and that's that four x squared, what's next? Okay, I'm gonna add some fractions. So that means I need a common denominator, and that's why I rewrote that one as four x squared over x squared. Now that I have a common denominator, I can go ahead and I can add their numerators, and that's what's going on there. Then I see that I have like terms. Like terms are terms with exactly the same variables raised to exactly the same powers, so I add that 4 and that minus 2. And that's how that becomes a plus 2. And now, extra bonus, and an and one. I see in that numerator, I have a perfect square. And that factors into x squared plus 1 squared. Then what does that root do? Oh, I deduce it reduces the roots. And then bam, the two's gone. Oh, and the square root of four is two. So, not to step too many skips, I, in this next step, am I gonna pull the one half out front and split those fractions. The x squared over the x gets the x plus, the one over the x is one over x, and what's next? It's all over but the integration and. We do that now. That's x squared over two plus the natural log of x evaluated fundamentally by the theorem of calculus, from 1 to 2. Now what do you do? We go and we throw the upper minus lower. So what's upper 2? What's lower 1? Then it's all fun in reducing, bam, nothing. Uh-huh. And then clean that up. 2 minus a half, that's 3 halves, right? I like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and distribute in like that. And I got my 3 fourths plus my 1 half, the natural log of 2, and I'm done. Box and flower. <laughs>